Yay to my beautiful mom, Bianca. <laughs> um, if you've been to my other webinars, you've heard a little bit about my mom and how much she's influenced me. She was an organic gardener and she always focused on healthy foods and healthy practices. And she passed on this love of health and wellness to me. And I like to focus on natural, healthy, real food, organic food, plenty of exercise. I love yoga. It's important to get proper rest. And I focus on healthy practices like seasonal detoxes. But what I haven't told you about my mom was that she was also an artist. She painted and would sell her art at art shows. And every year she would sell her paintings at the Greenwich Village International Art Show in New York City and she would take me with her. I loved going to those shows, looking at the art and seeing all the cool shops they had in the village. And one time when I was cruising in Greenwich Village shops, I walked into a little store that just smelled amazing. I asked the woman behind the counter what's making that wonderful smell and she pointed to rows and rows of little bottles. And she told me that they were real essential oils, like I knew what that meant. <laughs> and she invited me to try them. And part of the whole process was really enticing to me because she had these little wands, these little glass wands, and she would dip them into the sample set and let me smell them. After getting my fill of numerous bottles, I settled on honeysuckle. It came in a small rectangular glass bottle that was sort of dark and the scent reminded me of bike riding out in the country on a warm summer day. I mean, it instantly made me happy. And that was my first of many bottles of essential oil because from that moment on, I was hooked. Over the years, I read about the power of essential oils and how they were used throughout history to heal, to uplift, to entice, to purify, to do just about anything. Plant oils have been used to kill fungus and bacteria, to relieve pain, to cure diseases, and to just make us feel better. Today, we are going to go through so much information during this jam session, we'll discover holistic ways to boost immunity and to reduce stress naturally using essential oils. We'll talk about water essential oils and what they can do for you. And we'll take a look at some strategic ways to reduce stress and how essential oils fold easily into this process. So what are essential oils? Essential oils are naturally occurring volatile aromatic compounds that are found in seeds, bark, stems, roots, flowers, or any other part of plants. They can be both beautifully and powerfully fragrant. In addition to giving plants their distinctive smells, essential oils protect plants and play a role in plant pollination. In addition to their intrinsic benefits to plants and being beautifully fragrant to us, essential oils have long been used for food preparation, for beauty treatments, and in healthcare practices. What you really need to do is make sure that you're choosing your oils that are real and healthy natural oils, not a mixture of toxic chemicals. Just because it says it's an oil doesn't necessarily mean that it's a real natural oil made from plants. So you wanna consider the source, you wanna consider the company, make sure that they're a company with a good reputation of selling real plant-based essential oils. Are the oils gently distilled from real plants that are natural, organic, and carefully harvested. If it's a base oil, is it cold pressed? So you wanna look into some of those things. Is the company reputable? And is the essential oil subjected to strict standards of purity and potency as well? Do they test their oils? So look into some of those things. You know, what I'm saying is to just be careful, do your homework and make sure you're using real essential oils. So there's a lot of ways to use essential oils, but they are broken down into three basic categories. There's topical use, aromatic use, or internally. 
For topical use, you are applying the oil directly to the affected areas, like massage, or the oils can be applied to certain areas, for example, the bottom of the foot and the neck. A lot of essential oils are placed there to get their beneficial effects. Remember, pure essential oils are about 70 times more concentrated than the whole plant. So for many oils, you're gonna dilute it with what's called a carrier oil. Carrier oils are pressed from the fatty portion of the plant. They don't evaporate. They don't give off as much aroma as an essential oil. Essential oils don't go rancid, but carrier oils can go rancid over time. You would use different carrier oils for different purposes. For example, jojoba oil is very light and makes a great carrier oil to use on the face. Some of my favorite carrier oils are coconut oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, olive oil, sesame seed oil, and apricot kernel oil, just to name a few. Avoid at all costs mineral oil. It's made from petroleum, it clogs the pores, it prevents the essential oils from absorbing into your skin, it blocks sweat, it prevents toxins from leave, leaving the body, and it's, well, just junky stuff. So don't use um, mineral oils. It's really important with essential oils before you use them onto your skin that you patch test. So what you would do is you would mix it like you would with the carrier oil and just apply a drop onto your wrist and wait and see if, it, if there's a reaction. If it feels uncomfortable or if it makes like a, a noticeable red mark, then you should not put that on your skin. <laughs> Another way to use essential oils is aromatically. And who hasn't heard recently of aromatherapy? It's like all the rage now because there's been so much published research that proves how beneficial scents can be to your health. The nose has millions of cell receptors and the nasal cavity is connected to the limbic system. This is the areas of the brain that are responsible for emotions, memory, and arousal. So it's no wonder scents affect how you feel. Studies have shown that when you smell pleasant smells, you just feel better. In the Japanese Journal of Pharmacology, researchers found that simple inhalation of patchouli and rose oil reduced sympathetic nervous activity 40%, with rose oil reducing adrenaline concentrations by 30%. So it actually reduced the stress hormone by just breathing certain oils. In other studies, lavender oil reduced stress, anxiety, aggression, and cortisol levels better than standard medications. In another study, during a controlled experiment, nurses in the intensive care unit were exposed to clary sage and lavender oils. They reported that the aromatherapy decreased their levels of per perceived stress. So there's um, different ways that you can diffuse the essential oils into the air. You can use an electric heat diffuser, cool air nebulizing diffuser, a candle diffuser. Also too, we used to just take a few drops of essential oil, put it right by where you light the candle by the wick, light the candle and it will diffuse the oils into the air. We also in college used to stick drops of oil on light bulbs. I don't know how well that works with fluorescent light bulbs because there's not as much heat, but we used to do that with smoke. <laughs> um, also, too, you could um, spread the oils into the air by putting a few drops into a pan of simmering water. You can add a few drops to the floor of your shower and enjoy that essential oil steam, but make sure you don't put the oil where you're gonna step. You don't wanna slip in the shower. And you could put a few drops on an article of clothing, like on your scarf or um, on the lapel of your jacket. But remember, some oils stain, so you wanna make sure and spot test before you put it on a fabric that you care about. Another form of aromatherapy is to put a drop in your hands and breathe it in deeply. This method should only be done if the oils can be safely applied to the skin. You put one or two drops of the oil into your palms, rub it together, and then open up the palms and inhale deeply. This is really an excellent method for quick and easy exposure to the therapeutic uses of essential oils. Now the last way that you can use 
essential oils is to use it internally. Now, if you're going to use them internally, you want to make sure that you're getting a therapeutic grade of oil and that that oil itself is safe for ingestion. You want to pay attention to any kind of toxicity levels of certain oils, and you would only be eating or ingesting the amount of oil that you would actually be ingesting as if you were ingesting the plant. For example, you know, cinnamon oil, you would only be putting enough oil like as if you were making cinnamon cookies. <laughs> anyway, one of the ways that people will take oils is they'll put two to three drops in a empty capsule and take it two to three times a day. You can add it to juice, tea, food, and other recipes. So again, you wanna be careful that if you are taking it internally that it's a therape therapeutic or a food grade of the oil and that you're taking it in safe amounts. Now let's look at stress and immunity. When the body is stressed, the body cannot properly detox or function. Stress raises cortisol and insulin levels resulting in blood sugar imbalances, hormonal issues, weight gain, and toxicity. When you're stressed, your body releases certain fight or flight stress hormones. Cortisol, norepinephrine, epinephrine, when these hormones kick into gear, they send your body all kinds of signals. You stop producing insulin so you have plenty of fast-acting blood glucose ready so you can defend yourself or run, fight or flight. So blood flow is diverted to the extremities for quick action, but the blood flow decreases to the stomach and intestines. You literally stop digesting. So when you're stressed, you stop digesting. Now, once the stressor has passed, cortisol levels tell your body to stop producing these stress hormones and you go back to digesting regularly. It's normal for cortisol levels to go up and down throughout the day, but when you're chronically stressed, your cortisol levels go up and they stay there. So what does this mean for you, your stress levels, your digestion, even your waistline? When you're stressed and cortisol levels are high, the body actually resists weight loss. Your body goes into starvation mode, slows your metabolism, so you store what you eat as fat. The body also hoards fat that you already have, preparing you for that fight or flight situation. Next, cortisol directs the body to store fat around your belly because your abdomen has more cortisol receptors. Belly fat or visceral fat, the fat that's in your abdomen that surrounds your organs, it increases inflammation, insulin resistance, and it predisposes you not only to gain weight, but also leads to chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. It really affects your immune system. To make matters worse, belly fat itself also leads to more cortisol because it has higher concentrations of an enzyme that converts an active cortisone to active cortisol. So the more belly fat you have, the more active cortisol will be converted by these enzymes and you'll store more fat on your belly, yet another vicious cycle. You'll have more visceral fat, you'll be susceptible to more chronic diseases, more inflammation, and lower immunity. Stress is really the biggest toxin in this world. When you're stressed, you not only store fat around your organs as visceral fat, your gut lining gets inflamed, your immune system gets compromised. Did you know that 80% of your immune system is located in your gut? The best way to deal with these dangerous problems is to implement strategies that support you in times of stress. And a lot of these strategies are lifestyle strategies. So here are some tips to relieve stress. Get regular exercise, sleep around seven to eight hours a night, eat plenty of high quality protein, clean proteins, limit your caffeine to 200 milligrams a day because caffeine increases the production of cortisol, avoid sugars, simple carbs, processed food, refined grains, reduce the stress in your body by consuming foods that support gut health. Don't eat on the go, sit at the table and eat mindfully. Take breaks from work, from the computer. Close your eyes, take a little mini vacation. 
Just really take some 30 second breaks here and there throughout the day. Learn to let go what does not serve you emotionally and physically. Practice gratitude. Pat yourself on the back once in a while or every day. Think about the things that you're grateful for. Do a seasonal detox. Cleanse out that gut. Reduce your stress by getting rid of those unwanted toxins in your body that lead to anxiety. Give yourself at least five minutes a day of deep breathing and consider adding aromatherapy to that ritual. It has been proven that certain essential oils relieve anxiety, relieve stress, boost your mood, and improve your concentration. One of the best things that you can do is to find a mindfulness practice like yoga, meditation, or Tai Chi. They're really amazing for reducing stress. Also, essential oils are an amazing tool in your arsenal against stress. Not only have they been proven to relieve stress, but it's also been shown that essential oils will boost your immunity. I'm going to talk about three of my favorites that are full of amazing benefits. Lavender, lemon, and peppermint. Let's get started with lavender. If you only use one essential oil, this is it. Lavender is the most versatile of all oils. Most commonly known for its calming effects, lavender oil is anti-inflammatory and antifungal. It is an antidepressant, an antiseptic, antibacterial, and has antimicrobial properties. <laughs> it is also antispasmodic, analgesic, detoxifying, hypotensive, and has sedative effects. Therapeutic grade lavender has been highly regarded for its benefits to the skin. It can be used to cleanse cuts, heal bruises, and skin irritations. It's fantastic for keeping your skin healthy and youthful, for having a really nice complexion, treating everything from wrinkles to acne. The fragrance of lavender is calming, relaxing, and balancing, both physically and emotionally. In many research studies, lavender oils were shown to reduce anxiety and emotional stress better than medications. In other studies, lavender oil has been shown to relieve headaches, reduce the symptoms of diabetes, improve sleep for those with insomnia, just to name a few of the studies. Lavender oil is so full of antioxidants that it boosts your immune system by fighting free radicals. In one study, researchers from China have recently discovered that lavender essential oil helps your body produce three of the most powerful antioxidants. Other researchers have found that diffusing lavender oil protects the cells from damage that can lead to cancer. In essence, carrying a bottle of lavender around with you is like having your own personal first aid kit, perfume, and pick-me-up. Now admittedly, Lavender is a hard act to follow, but lemon is so up to the challenge. Lemon oil is stimulating, calming, carminative, anti-infection agent, astringent, detoxifying, antiseptic, a disinfectant, sleep-inducing, and antifungal. According to a study published at the International Journal of Food Microbiology, lemon oil was found to be the most powerful antimicrobial agent of all essential oils. Lemon oil is another extremely versatile oil too. It can be used to whiten your teeth, it's great as a laundry freshener, cellulite cream, face wash, and household cleaner. It can be used to treat stress disorders, fever, infection, asthma, obesity, insomnia, skin disorders, hair conditions, stomach problems, and tiredness. Breathing lemon oil has been shown to do everything from improving cognitive function to breaking down fat in the body. Lemon oil has a high vitamin content, stimulates white blood cells, and really boosts your immune system, increasing your ability to fight off disease. Lemon is 68% D-limonene, which is a powerful cancer-fighting antioxidant. This also improves circulation throughout your body, decreases cholesterol deposits in blood vessels, and prevents heart disease. Again, lemon oil is another amazing essential oil. In essence, 
it's another miracle in a bottle. So let's move on to peppermint. Peppermint oil is no slouch either. It is another very versatile essential oil. Peppermint oil exhibits antiviral, antimicrobial, antifungal, antioxidant, analgesic, radioprotective, and anti-edemic properties. It has been used for everything from relieving the symptoms of the common cold to flavoring some of my favorite candies and confections. Peppermint oil aids all sorts of gut problems ranging from nausea to menstrual cramps, but there's a scientific study that shows powerful evidence that it relieves the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. In the Italian study, patients with irritable bowel syndrome were given peppermint oil capsules for one month, and they showed a marked reduction in symptoms compared to those who received just placebo tablets. In another study, rubbing a little peppermint oil on the forehead and temples eased headache pain more effectively than medication. Are you trying to reduce your appetite? Try smelling peppermint oil. It has been proven to reduce hunger cravings. Researchers had subjects smell peppermint oil every two hours and they reported no hunger compared to the control group that did not get the benefits of this amazing oil. You can use peppermint oil for allergies, sinus relief, to relieve muscle aches and pains, as a dandruff cure, as a bug repellent, as a breath freshener, and much more. Now there have been some risks in using too much peppermint oil, like insomnia or allergic reactions, or it just burns. So just think small when you're using peppermint. Start with tiny topical dosages, make sure you do a skin patch test to see how it affects you. And if you're unsure of any essential oil, always consult a natural path, a professional that deals with essential oils. So peppermint oil is another invaluable tool for you to use and to have in your arsenal of natural cures. It reduces stress, it boosts immunity, and it aids your digestion. Essential oils are great for calming the mind and body. They calm the central nervous system, relieving stress. This improves digestion and your gut health, boosting the immune system. When you have a strong immune system, you are less likely to get ill and you just feel better and healthier in general. Also remember that lifestyle strategies are also great for reducing stress and improving your immune system. So if you would like to experience some of these benefits, the AWAKEN programs specialize in giving you these strategies. Our fall programs focus on clean eating and simple detox. Depending on the package you choose, some even include essential oils. You're here because you want to reduce your stress, improve your immunity. Getting your gut health straight is an important step to achieving your goals. AWAKEN's fall programs will do just that. You'll get the tools to be successful, the tools to see results. I want to talk about one of my clients, Brittany. She was stalled in her efforts to lose weight and she was mega stressed. And she was one of those people that was an emotional eater. And through the Awaken program, she was able to figure out what was triggering her stress. And through the detox, it really helped her to manage her stress. And she was able to not only relieve her stress, but get a handle on the emotional eating, and she was finally able to lose weight. Another one of my clients, Janine, she just could not get a handle on her stress either, and she was constantly exhausted. So she went through the 14-day detox. It reduced her stress. She had better gut health, better immunity, but what really happened was she was sensitive to certain foods and when she took them out of her diet, she was no longer exhausted. So that's what made all the difference to Janine. So let's collaborate, work with me. Let me help you move to the next level, dig deeper and get what you really want. Let your goals start here with the tools you need to finally be successful. With the Awaken system, you'll be able to eat clean without having to starve or deprive yourself. You won't be taking weird pills or stuff that makes you feel jittery or nauseated. 
The Awaken programs are so natural. They're designed to give you fast and lasting results. For example, if your goal is to lose fat, even if you can't follow the system completely and you only lose a pound of fat a week, if you multiply that times 52 weeks in a year, you could lose 52 pounds of fat. Or take my client, Lynn. Her gut health was compromised by food sensitivities that left her feeling tired and sometimes depressed. And this was so stressful for her. After just two weeks on the program, her life completely turned around. She felt energized and alive again. She couldn't believe it was that simple. Are you ready to make some of the changes to create a better life? Awaken programs are a fantastic way to jumpstart your success that will lead to less stress, a better immune system, and greater health with all the added bonuses of a slimmer, sexier you. It will amp up your confidence so you can feel more comfortable in your own skin. And with the fall programs, you'll get all of these life-changing goodies. These programs not only include everything you need to detox and cleanse, from recipes to shopping guides to symptom management, but it will also give you the results you want fast. And as an extra added bonus, you get to be part of a private Facebook group, Awaken Your Life. So you'll get that extra support you need to succeed. This is how some of these programs can improve your life. It's really the magic behind your success. It's the significant benefits of a detox and cleanse. You'll find your trigger foods and you'll see how your body reacts when you eat certain things so you can decide what's best for you. In the fall programs, you'll also get shopping lists, food diaries, transition guides, so you'll kind of know what to do during the program. Also, you'll get email support so that you don't have to go about this alone. And if you choose to do Awaken's Essential Detox, you'll also get doTERRA's Beginner Trio, the guide for using essential oils, the detox with essential oil guide, and all the essential oil handouts. Don't get caught in the vicious cycle where stress destroys your gut health and in turn compromises your immunity. You can defeat these problems once and for all. Don't get stuck and compromise your health because of unhealthy habits. You can be stress-free, healthy, feel energized, feel sexy again. I know because this happened for me and many of my clients. Imagine getting results like my client, Karen. She got big benefits using the Awaken programs. She found out that she had food sensitivities and they were giving her digestive issues and that dreaded belly bloat. After doing the detox and cleanse, she found that she could actually eat more, feel better, and look better. So try one of the Awaken Fall programs. There's the Awaken's Fall into Detox. It's the basic program with 14-day detox and cleanse. There's Awaken's Essential Detox. This program includes everything that's in the basic program, but also includes the essential oil guides, the handouts, and the doTERRA oils trio, lavender, lemon, and peppermint oils. And then there's Awaken's Wellness and Detox. It includes everything that's in the basic program, but also includes four private wellness coaching sessions with me on Skype. So you get individualized attention and you can work on what's really important to you. The only downside to Awaken's wellness and detox is that I can only take 20 clients at a time because I really want to meet your needs and give you all the attention you deserve. So if you want the one-on-one -on -one wellness coaching, sign up now so you don't miss out on this opportunity. To buy one of the fall programs, just go to the Awaken shop and if you sign up on or before October 13th, you get the early bird special. You'll get 20% off all of Awaken's fall programs. The Fall Into Detox program, Awaken's Essential Detox, and Awaken's Wellness in Detox. So remember, you get 20% off if you enroll early. Now, if you want to, there's a button right there on the side of the screen that will click over onto the shop. So click over there and choose the detox program that you like the best. Remember, if you sign up on or before October 13th, you get 20% off. Also, I'd like to ask you a big favor. If you want to buy doTERRA essential oils, they're therapeutic grade oils and they're really wonderful, use my site to buy them. It's mydoTERRA.com slash Betty Lou. 
M-Y-D-O-T-E-R-R-A dot C-O-M slash B-E-T-T-E-L-O-U. I'm an independent wellness advocate for doTERRA and I really appreciate your business and it would really help me. Thank you so much. So next we're going to do the question and answer session. So if you have a question, feel free to type one into the chat box.